All right, we are here with Cal State San Marcos softball. From left to right, we have Madison Waymeyer, Savannah Coyle, head coach Steph Ewing, and Zoe Ballin. Coach, two wins that you needed today. Talk about awesome day for the Cougars. It was an awesome day. Uh, you know, we came out and uh, this morning and just said, hey, we got to find a way to win one game. And, uh, you know, we were all in for that first game, uh, you know, to to go to extra innings. And it was just like, man, we had so many hits, so many opportunities. And it was like, who was going to come through? Um, you know, what, how are we going to be find a way to kind of uh, break open the, the gates there? And, you know, we've talked all year about being relentless, and I think that game just showed that everyone was ready. We were relentless. I mean, we just kept getting runners on. Our pitchers kept doing a great job. Sav came in and did an outstanding job. And, you know, we, we find a way to go in there, and, you know, we're in extra innings. We give up one, so now we're, we're down one in the bottom of the 10. And there was no doubt in our dugout that we were going to come back. And, you know, to, to have it happen, you know, to get the, the lead off, to have Bianca lead off as she's a little emotional coming up to bat, you know, she, and boom, she gets a hit. And then we get, you know, another one on. Anissa had a great at bat. Um, and, you know, just everything that happened, Morgan doing her job, and then, you know, just one thing after another to tie the game. And then, you know, for Waymeyer to just come up, just nails. Like we just knew hey, it's going to happen, you know, and, and Giuliano made a great slide at home and boom, we win that game. It's great. And then, okay, here we go. We got to win. We got to go again. And, um, you know, I think that's, what's great about our conference is having to go doubleheader Friday, doubleheader Saturday. We're prepared for that, that it's a battle in game one. And then you have to be able to come back in game two and be able to go after it. So I think that really through the course of our whole season, that prepared us to be ready for what we had to do in this last game here in the final. And I looked at Zoe and I said, you got the ball. And she was like, all right. And, you know, hey, we just rode this kid's back the whole game and got a couple runs. And she was just money all day. So really, really proud of this team um, and, and what they have done this weekend with their backs up against the wall. And here we are ready to go into Super Regionals. Uh, Madison, talk a little bit about the, you know, getting that game winning hit. Uh, you know, I'm standing on deck and Anissa was battling before me. Um, and she got that walk and I walked up there and knew this was it, I, I was gonna do it. Um, I mean, I, I had the easy part, you know, all these girls worked and got on base and I just had to bring one of them in. So that's what's great about this team. Um, that's what I love about this team. And yeah, I mean, it was a great team win, both games and all weekend. Uh, Zoe, uh, talk about, you know, send, helping send your team to Super Regionals. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a really emotional game for me. I think that, you know, stepping onto that field, I have full faith in every single person behind me. And whenever there was a hit, I knew that we were going to get them out. And that's how this team is. Like Wayne Meyer said, this team will always have each other's backs. And I knew going into this game that we were going to win it. Uh, Savannah, what were you feeling after getting with those wins today? Honestly, it just felt kind of surreal because, I mean, Zoe's been due for a good moment like that, and she owned up and she did that, and I was really proud of her. Uh, Coach, what's this say, I mean, from where your program started to where it is now? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I get asked that question a lot, and, um, you know, I, I think what it is is all these kids, when they were recruited here, I told them that we had a vision, that people were going to know who Cal State San Marcos was, and that they were going to help put us on the map and all of these kids believed in that and, and believed that they were going to come here they were going to work hard and you know here we are we're doing that and, and we're here because of hard work because there is no stone that is unturned there are no easy days and you know I mean, we live breathe and die relentless and we live breathe and die mudita that we are going to support each other even if I am not in the game, that I'm going to support my teammates. And that no matter what, we're going to fight until the end. And, um, you know, as a coach, you just, you tell your kids that. But it is so amazing to see that they have embraced it, they have bought into it, and they are living it. And, you know, I couldn't be more proud of these kids, um, you know, because they are the reason why this program has done what it has done this year uh, is because of what they have done on the field. Couldn't be more proud of them. And thoughts going into hosting Super Regionals this next week? Well, we've never done that before, but, uh, you know, <laughs> we've done a lot of that this year. And, 
what a great opportunity to play in front of our home fans. Our fans were fantastic this weekend. Just, you know, amazing to be here and have that much support. And um, you know what? Whoever steps in that dugout opposite us, it doesn't matter. We'll be ready. Thank you, guys.